Hello and welcome to the final Envis Bat Wrap of 6th edition. We are going to do blow out the doors here with uh, 2 versus 2, 1500 points per player, 3000 points per side, and we're bringing some super heavies to the table. We're going to do um, orcs and some tau versus guard and some an imperial knight with going to be renegade guard and a renegade knight and demons and a little bit of chaos flavored in with bellicor so all kinds of shenanigans on the table tonight we got a hammer and anvil deployment playing the crusade um tau won the roll off chose this side placed their aegis line here and have two objectives over here demons and renegade guard have their demonic objectives over here and here and let's do the armies here's my army <clears throat> I'm playing uh, what turns out to be renegade guard tonight with a couple tricks running a company command squad with a las cannon running a platoon big blob platoon platoon command squad with um, three 10-man troop units with an auto cannon in each and a flamer in one of them. Um, plane platoon command squad. I'm bringing 20 conscripts. Where that came from? And a psyker, primary psyker level one. I'm bringing a veteran squad with a las cannon. I'm bringing two uh, homebrewed wyverns. Check them out. Made them myself with a bix. I'm bringing a bane blade, plain bane blade, and I'm bringing uh, an imperial knight, knight errant with the uh, melta cannon. My ally is going to be demons, chaos demons with Felicor and a heldrake. So I think um, we got. You want to tell us what we got, or up? Yeah, we got Soul Grinder, Marcus Slanesh with a um, flamer, uh, Demon Princess Slanesh, um, some greater rewards, exalted rewards, psychic levels, Keeper of Secrets, greater rewards, psychic levels, fiends, nerglings, nerglings, two squads of three, cultists with a heavy stubber, um, Bellicor, Heldrake, uh, flamer. All right, so that's the demons and renegade guard. The opponents are Tau. I think I can do Dan's Tau pretty pretty well. He's got his usual um, crew. I don't know how many, 15 or so, with a hound. He's got his Fire Warrior squad. He's got um, his Batman um, suit with no weapons but all kinds of bells and whistles. He's got his Riptide with the Ion Cannon. What do you got on this, Dan? You got... Uh, he's not around. Um, I'm sure he's got the Stimulant Injector, as usual. Um, looks like more Fire Warriors back here. Looks like he's got two of these um, Crisis Suits that he drops in with, um, like, three Fusion Cannons on it. And then it looks like he's bringing Long Strike in a Hammerhead and two other Hammerheads. And the drones... Dan, are the drones all Marker Drones? There's four shield drones there. Four, four shield drones and a bunch of marker drones. That's Dan's Tau. And the last one is... Uh, help me out, Luke. What are these orcs? Looks like the orcs yeah. have two of the Daka jets. Looks like they yeah, have the Stompa. Stompa um, battle wagon. Battle wagon. Uh, Luda's mech. He's got a shock attack on, but he said custom force field, so I think he meant that. Uh, we got a battle wagon here with a death roller. Looks like a mob of boys and a mob of boys. All right, so the pink shooters, twenty in each, probably going in the battle wagons. Orcs and the Stompa ver with Tau versus the Demons Ouch. and the Renegade Guard. Yeah. Like On this table, <laughs> uh, we'll be back with the roll off for first turn and deploy. All right, here is the deployment. Uh, Tau and Orcs won the roll off and elected to go first and they also elected because the orc warlord trait was to determine if it's night fighting so they're going to take t turn one take night fighting uh, and this is their deployment gun line crew marker lights 
Fire Warriors. Uh, you got the Riptide hemorrhoids in the back. And then over here, the two battle wagons have the two squads of boys. And the Stompa has three HQs. And that's all the orcs over there. And then here is us with the Bane Blade, Wyverns, Blob Squad. Primaris Psyker and the Conscripts are back here. Um, the Vets are in the building. He's got his Fiends and Nerglings in the building. Knights there. Uh, is that a Soul Grinder? Soul Grinder's over there. Cultists across the back. Alright, so that is the... That's what the board looks like. Oh, and then what's coming in? Flyers coming in, and then deep striking both of these? Um, regular reserve, um, fly, you know, reserve and deep strike. Okay, yeah. deep striking coming in flying. That's how... It, oh, he can't fly, he's just coming in on the board. <clears throat> That's the game before turn one. Alright, so for turn one, shoot, uh, turn one for Tau and Orcs went like this. Uh, Stompa moved forward, and, uh... Battle wagons uh, moved forward and flat outed. Um, the crisis suit commander and the and the drones jumped forward, laid down marker lights on the bane blade. Um, every he got his invul save going. They did their jinky moves, and then shooting um, the scatter shot. The big shot scattered off of the knight, um, but his big Gatlin cannon killed some guard here. And then um, the Tau, what'd you kill? You killed a bunch of guard with the uh, Riptide's Big Blast. And you missed with Long Strike, but you got um, Tank Hunter missiles on the Bane Blade and did uh, a hull point. And then you did a bunch. How'd you do all the. You did a bunch to the night with what? A railgun shot. Railgun shot rolled, rolled high and got me for four hull points here. Uh, I don't think I've made a save yet this game, so um, we've got a pretty well wounded knight, we've got a one pinged up um, bane blade, oh and then what other, what, how'd you kill my wyvern? The commander. The commander, tank hunter, oh you, what, you split fire it, or, or maybe, I don't know. Split fire. Oh, yeah, split fire. The tank, uh, tank hunter commander with missile exploded one of my wyverns, so we're down a wyvern. A wounded knight, uh, a bane blade, and a good chunk of the guard got whittled away. It's night fighting, uh, and we'll be taking our turn now. For shooting, because I have none. All right, turn one. <coughs> uh, turn one was mainly the um, bane blade moved forward to get in. Um, 24 inch range of we'll the warlord right. and the um, yeah. Yeah, we're not. marker yeah. drone and uh, shield drone squad. Back. He jumped forward 12, <laughs> seeing his life is not too long for this world, we'll try to get three. over there to explode. No, um, was able to use basically all of the shooting of the Bane Blade, had some good hits, little, very little scatter, um, and got his warlord down to. Uh, oh, one wound, no, no. failed some lookout sirs, and then uh, failed another lookout sir on the last cannon shots and died. Got a few more hits into yeah, the drones back there, and then the um, knight dropped his melt the cannon over here um, and got all three vehicles over there, but was ineffective in doing. Well, no, I think I managed to glance it once, but he made his. No, he took the, he took one glance, right? He took a glance. Yeah, glance that rear, rear, rear battle that rear battle wagon took one glance from uh, the melted shots that that hit into that cluster of dudes over there. Uh, as far as demons, um, not much. They're sort of still jockeying around you. What you turned invisible over there yeah. and, and scattered forward. So um, that is the end of turn one. We got first blood and warlord um, with that, and that's what the board looks like after one. Okay, at the end of turn two for the Orcs and Tau, we saw the Stompa move forward. Um, this one with the Death Roll uh, shockingly got um, immobilized and hull pointed. He rolled two ones in a row. He zapped forward. Um, all the shooting, let's see, basically 
all of the. What did you shoot? Tell me how'd you kill the knight? You, with uh, all of the. Super rocket with the. Super stuff. rocket, but then you did the Gatlin cannon into the knight. Yeah. What else went into the knight to kill it? Oh, the um, the crisis suit with fusion blasters jumped in behind it. Crisis. Got just out of um, melter range, but still did. Did you do anything with the crisis suit? No, I didn't. Oh, I can't remember. I didn't. Um, but anyway, I think it was the shooting from the, the Stompa that killed the knight, right? Yeah. Then the knight exploded. We got a apocalyptic blast with Nick the um, Bane Blade here, but he didn't take a wound. Shooting from the Riptide, um, I think went... That, that may have been what uh, actually ended up killing the knight and landed over here. Killed some dudes here. And then hammerheads across the board in the back worked on this wyvern and got it down to one hull point and it can't um, can't it can only snap shoot so it really can't shoot next round and that's it pretty much but it was effective the knight is gone um, did you do anything to the bane blade you didn't do anything to the bane blade <clears throat> but the big deal was the knight was gone and we've got a crisis suit in the backfield and the uh, um, orc vehicles are closer, so that's the battlefield at the uh, halfway through. Turn two, bottom of two, we had um, Bellacor was uh, unfortunately out of range for spells. Oh, he's gonna do his assault, but that should mop up pretty quickly. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. At the end of the, he was unable to do any of his Bellacor tricks, which sucked. But he backed up and dumped all of his shots. Uh, it got prescience into the blob squad because he was out of range and got off tank hunter orders on yeah, one. We're going to do the assault here. Dumped. Oh, yeah. um, you got to do your overwatch. Monster hunter, auto cannons, last cannon, last cannon, and the entire Bane Blade um, into the Stompa. I did a, like a hull point, but then um, with the D cannon on the, on the Bane Blade, I got three more. So took four hull points off the Stompa. And um, we're gonna. We'll see. Hopefully, this combat will just be mopped up here. Tau crisis suits aren't too um, hardy, but other than that, we just got demons moving forward, and that is it. Heldrake came on, but the Keeper of Secrets did not. That's the turn. Okay, at the end of what's this? Halfway through three. Yes. Halfway through three, we saw um, the Bane Blade got engaged with the Stompa. Stompa came across the table. Uh, the on the movable truck came, or battle wagon came with it. Um, engaged the Bane Blade, got the charge off, and wrecked it, and it exploded off the table over here. Um, Daka Jet came in and whittled away a bunch of guardsmen. They have the um, the Yarrick special warlord trait that I rolled for the command squad, so they're um, staying with low numbers. Um, what happened to your guys over here? You took some wounds here from... Yeah, I got shot. You got shot from hammerheads and some other things. Quad gun, I think. You yeah. took some wounds here. And then what? Heldrake took some wounds, took a... Which, how'd you get glanced by Heldrake? Uh, Super Gatlin on the... Super Stompa. Gatlin on the... Yeah. Stompa. Yep. And continue to move forward with your demons. Is that it? Bane Blade's gone. Uh, the Wyvern got wrecked. I can't remember if that was this turn. Probably, I think it was hmm. this turn. And Stompa's in our face. And we are getting pinned back to the edge of the board. That is the board after halfway through three. All right, so our turn four. Um, no, I don't think you do, man. In our turn four, the guard side of things, basically I had some uh, auto cannons, las cannon, las cannon. Did a couple of hull points into the um, the Stompa. And then um, Bellacor and the... Demon Prince flew over and engaged it in combat, whittled it down to two hull points, but then the Stompa on its return attack killed Bellacor with his D weapon attack and killed the Demon Prince with his 
Um, D weapon stomp attack. You roll the six and wipe that demon prince off the table. And so to die. Especially the fiend over here. You only hit twice. No, but no, let's see. You you got your um, nerglings and stuff forward. You flamered the butt of the um, vehicle that was here. It popped. Um, then you engaged with Soul Grinder and Fiend into the boys. They are locked. The orcs held. Um, anything I missed? Highlights of the round were stomp. Well, <laughs> unhighlights of the round were the stomp of taking out two demons and um, getting right in our faces here. So things are not shaping up great for us. Here's the table at the end. Uh, actually, yeah, at the end of three. This is going to be top of four. Okay, at the end of turn four for the Orcs and Tau, we saw the um, Bane Blade move forward. Um, and then, what's that thing? Life Leech or whatever? You, or uh, warp Tether. Warp Tether. You came back on the board. You killed uh, Demon from last time. Engaged the Stompa again. Managed to kill it. It exploded. Uh, that's what was left on the inside of the Stompa. Those, the Mech and his little buddy. The explosion landed in this vicinity and killed some guardsmen in this general circular area. Um, the uh, plane came on and fired into the company command squad. They went to ground. Commander le lived and a Laz cannon lived. And let's see. The fiend and the soul grinder wiped out the orcs here and consolidated forward. And let's see what else happened. I think that's primarily the turn. Was I missing anything? Anybody? That is the game uh, midway through four. Um, starting to fight back a little bit. Getting demons in the center of the board, starting to take out some orcs, but still big, a lot of gunline tau. Um, suit came in over here. The second suit came back. Um, what the suit do? Anything? Suicide suit over here? Wasn't successful at anything? I forget. Anyway, that's your general. Forgot to do stuff. Maybe we're getting late in the night here. But that's the game. Uh, that's the game as it sees uh, in our turn. In orc and the de uh, demon and guard turn. What all did you do? You did a lot. Um, this guy here uh, shot the crisis suit. Yep, the one that was here. And then the keeper uh, attacked the mech the and, sweat and killed, killed him. him. Yep. Um, the the hell Drake vector struck the dacajet and then burned out a couple drones. Soul Grinder burned out some orcs and then fought him in combat and swept them. And then this fiend is killed some drones and yeah, is engaged. He's working his way through the drones. So, big shift. Demons really came alive and are just starting to uh, munch their way forward. So, at the end of four, uh, we've got the demon push on the Tau gun line and the guard are just holding tight in the back trying not to die. Alright, turn five for the Orcs and Tau basically saw the Daka Jets doing waz each. He wad on that Demon Prince and what did one wound? And then he wad on the Demon Prince that was here and he died. Is that Was that your Warlord? Yeah, that was my Warlord. So they got a Warlord point there for killing that Warlord. Keep your secrets. Life, um, life is other than that, shooting across the board here was kind of ineffective. Long shot was unable to wound. The long shot was unable to wound, and the riptide was unable to wound. Um, so we are here trying to finish up uh, five. All right, at the end of five, um, we got on objectives with guard and with cultists here. Um, managed to luck out and. The Prussian's tank hunter last cannon was useless, but of course, the unprescienced one got a snapshot off and popped the Daka jet. Um, Heldrake got forward. Well, you t you torn it, yeah, laid down the flamer. See people, that, that many. empty spot yeah. there. Um, four, Soul Grinder got souls. forward, laid down more torn. I'm assuming. 
Um, and then this guy, did he do anything significant? Demon Prince. Fiend wiped out the remaining drones. Um, and we are demons pressing hard on the Tau gun line. And the game is going to continue into six. All right, doing good Stop game. We are going to call it here. Um, Tau right move. Tau. Uh, yeah, that was great. It's a, basically, it's a, the Riptide and like Hammerhead, Long Strike, did were yeah. ineffective. We're gonna yeah. call it here because we'll uh, we've yeah. got both Warlords. We'll we're playing with uh, Slay the Warlord. You know, each player can give up a Slay the Warlord point. So we have two Slay the Warlord points. We have First Blood, uh, likely to get Line Breaker if you know the game ended out, and um, there's not really any way for. Tau to get Line yeah. Breaker or sure nice contest these even, objectives, you know? so we hold our side of the board. They hold down. theirs, yeah. but with yeah. the Warlord ports, First Blood, and Line Breaker, uh, it's going to be a victory for Guard and Demons. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, back and forth battle. You had basically you had the whole first half of the game was Orcs and ta Orcs moving forward and Tau shooting forward, and the death of the wow. Knight and the Bane Blade. And then second half of the game was the opposite, where Demon surged forward and kind of wiped out Orcs and contested Tau gun line. That's how things ended up. Good game. It was had by all. That's a lot of shit. And that is going to be the last 6th yeah. edition Bat Rep. Yeah, those are good. And uh, yeah, really stay tuned for more 7th edition Bat Rep. So Very like the channel, sub the channel, yeah. and share yeah, the videos. The Thanks. Weapons. Everybody, yeah. check out our podcast, Veterans of the Long War, yeah. on yes. Facebook and iTunes.